In mathematics, a Dirichlet L series is a function of the form here chi is a Dirichlet character and s a complex variable with real part greater than 1. By analytic continuation, this function can be extended to a meromorphic function on the whole complex plane, and is then called a Dirichlet L function and also denoted L. These functions are named after Peter Gustav Lejeune Dirichlet who introduced him and to prove the theorem on primes in arithmetic progressions that also bears his name. In the course of the proof, Dirichlet shows that L is non-zero at S equals 1. Moreover, if chi is principal, then the corresponding Dirichlet L function has a simple pole at S equals 1. Zeros of the Dirichlet L functions. If chi is a primitive character with chi equals 1, then the only zeros of L with re less than 0 are at the negative even integers. If chi is a primitive character with chi equals minus 1, then the only zeros of L with re less than 0 are at the negative odd integers. Up to the possible existence of a Siegel zero, zero free regions including and beyond the line re equals 1 similar to that of the Riemann zeta function are known to exist for all Dirichlet L functions. For example, for chi a non-real character of modulus q, we have for beta plus i gamma a non-real zero. Just as the Riemann zeta function is conjectured to obey the Riemann hypothesis, so the Dirichlet L functions are conjectured to obey the generalized Riemann hypothesis. Euler product. Since a Dirichlet character chi is completely multiplicative, its L function can also be written as an Euler product in the half plane of absolute convergence, where the product is over all prime numbers. Functional equation. Let us assume that chi is a primitive character to the modulus k, defining where gamma denotes the gamma function and the symbol a is given by 1 has the functional equation here we wrote tau for the Gauss sum note that tau equals k 1 half. Relation to the Hurwitz zeta function. The Dirichlet L functions may be written as a linear combination of the Hurwitz zeta function at rational values. Fixing an integer k1, the Dirichlet L functions for characters modulo k are linear combinations, with constant coefficients, of the zeta where q equals mk and m equals 1, 2. This means that the Hurwitz zeta function for rational q has analytic properties that are closely related to the Dirichlet L functions. Specifically, let chi be a character modulo k. Then we can write its Dirichlet L function as in particular, the Dirichlet L function of the trivial character yields the Riemann zeta function.